Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. It has been a while since we've done a tea seminar, and I'm super excited to share with you that we will be back this September in Toronto to have a special tea seminar. We will be tasting various teas throughout the whole event while we have conversations and chit chat and learn about tea. I bet you're thinking, that doesn't sound very special, does it? Well, what's special about it is that you, the participants, will be the one who shapes the content of this seminar. Usually with this kind of learning tea seminars, the hosts pick the theme and design the content accordingly. If you are interested in this topic, you come join the conversation and learn about this topic. It's a try and true model. Nothing wrong with it. It's great. We've done it too. But for me, I feel like that I prepare the content that I'd like to share with this 10 people sitting at the table. I don't know where exactly you are individually. Maybe for some of you, 50% of my content you already know. It's just a duplicate and reinforce what you know. So if I put myself in the participant's room, I I might not think this is the best way to spend my time. I probably will have a great time, have a great company, great tea, but when I go somewhere to want to learn something, I'd like to learn something that I didn't know or realizing something that I thought I knew but I was wrong or get my confusion or questions answered. Well, a lot of times the Q&A can just be at the very end of a seminar and it's usually quite short. So personally, I really prefer highly custom information, especially when I already know something about tea. I always love chatting with the tea lovers and I found something very interesting and intriguing to me. Whether you're a tea beginner or you're very advanced in tea, we all have holes in our tea knowledge. The fact is many tea lovers pick up their tea knowledges or uh, information from everywhere piece by piece and uh, put them together. So sometimes these informations are put together wrong or there's a misaligned in the information or sometimes the information is just wrong. If we don't sort out this missing piece and just keep on building on top of it, the confusion will just get uh, bigger and bigger and more tangled. So similar to a building, if the foundation is not solid and we just keep building on it, one day it will collapse. And I noticed the similar situation when I talk to people whom I have a certificate in tea sommelier because in the West, the education on Chinese tea is very limited and oftentimes uh, they don't have much experience in the field. So I really believe a highly customized tea seminar would benefit people from different phases in their own tea journey. I designed the seminar you are there to listen. Isn't that what this is about? <laughs> I've done enough on YouTube of the content that I wanted to share. Why would you pay and travel to watch live YouTube? No, no. We finally meet in person. I want to chat about tea with you. I can see your reaction. I can hear your feedback. This is a learning experience for me too. I can learn what is the common missing information for tea lovers and I can gradually work on refining my delivery. How can I deliver the tea knowledge in a more precise way to eliminate the cultural and language difference? It has been a working project ever since I started the business. So I really value every conversation I had. It's a great opportunity for me to learn. This is another reason I really want to make a change to how I do seminars in the future. Teas. Usually, we would post how many teas we're having and what are the teas we will be having. But this time, we don't know. Rest assured, we will be tasting teas the whole time. I will curate a selection of teas and I'll be choosing the teas on site to better illustrate my point or answer your questions. 
As for tea tasting skills, I'd like to introduce you to professional Chinese tea tasting. This is the way to answer the ultimate question that many, many tea lovers ask. How do I know the quality of tea? Fruity, floral, sweet, smoky, let's ditch those for a while. Let's start tasting to gain information about the tea from the tea. Where is it grown? How was its grown condition? How was the process? What about the storage and the brewing method? Like I always say, what you want to know about the tea is already in the tea leaves themselves. If this seminar sounds interesting to you, be sure to check the link down below. There's extra information about the seminar and you can easily reserve your seat. This will be so fun. I can't wait to see you in person. Until next time, keep steeping. Thank you.